One of the main points in Surah Al-Layl is that beliefs matter. We've mentioned this, we came across this in al raghab al-Suhani's book. Believe in beautiful things. It's a really, really important thing. And today, in today's society, we have this myth that it doesn't matter what you believe. You can be, a, as long as you're a good person, as long as you say please and thank you and hold the door open and these sorts of things, you know, you're a good person. It doesn't work like that. That's a very superficial, a very thin definition of what it means to be a good person, right? Being a good person is much, much more than that. And it has to be a robust enough concept and a thick enough concept that someone's going to be able to be good no matter what's going on. War breaks out. Uh, they're, they have their, they're down to their last penny, right? They're still going to do the right thing, right? We need a concept of goodness that is strong enough to withstand those external pressures. And that can only come from faith. That can only come from faith in Allah and in an afterlife. And there's recognition of this in Surah Al-Layr because Allah says, فَأَمَّا مَنْ أَعْطَى وَاتَّقَى وَصَدَّقَى بِالْحُسْنَى صَدَّقَى بِالْحُسْنَى has to do with affirming all of the good things, right? Truthfulness, piety, modesty, honor, dignity, justice, all of these sorts of things. Whoever bears witness to those, right, affirms the truth of those. This is an orientation that people have towards it. What's going to happen to those people just by, by nature of their belief in those things and their affirming of those things? There's going to, Allah's going to cause something else to happen. He's going to make it easier for you. We're going to ease for him the path of ease. So there's this kind of give and take, right? There's the orientation of the heart. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responds to the orientation of your heart. If you're oriented towards the truth, Allah is going to make your path to the truth and the true life easy. But then the opposite is also true. So then Allah always balances it out. Someone who's stingy, right, and is arrogant. And denies and rejects what's good, what's true, right? They're just about real politic. They're just about, I got to get mine, you know, the dollars, and the fame, and the glory, and me, and this thing, and this thing, and all about, it's about the dunya. What's going to happen to that person? Can that person really be a good person with those sorts of beliefs? No, no, no. Allah says, yassiruhu We're going to make easy his path to difficulty, or to hardship. We're talking about the afterlife. It's going to become constricted, and constricted, and constricted, to the point where the person's going to have less and less of a receptive heart to guidance, which is something that Allah further indicates when he says, Inna alayna lal huda, ours is the guidance. It's upon us to guide people, right? There's this kind of uh, relationship, this give and take that goes on between our orientation and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responding to it. The person who orients themselves towards faith, orients themselves towards the beautiful, the good, the righteous, Allah is going to reward that person by giving them guidance and making their path to guidance easy. The person who turns away, the person who denies, the person who rejects their orientation towards these things is one of arrogance. It's one of, uh, you know, I, I'm good. <laughs> I already know better. You know, I don't have to do that. You know, whatever. Then Allah is going to respond in kind. And that person is going to be uh, led down a path where it's going to be harder and harder and harder for them to receive the truth.